depend on only one way that you hear God. God can use another way. The Holy Spirit wants you to train all your spiritual senses. Sometimes you are cooking and you just sense, where is my baby? You are just cooking and something will just tell you, that boy is climbing the TV right now. And you move. Lo and behold, he's climbing the TV. Who told you he's climbing the TV? Oh, you think the Holy Spirit is not interested in talks like that? He talks about only holy things, major things. If your son is climbing the TV and is about to fall, he doesn't care. Listen, again, again, again. The Holy Spirit does not speak posh English. How do you think he talks to people that only understand pigeon? Do you think he does not speak pigeon? Has he not spoken to you in Yoruba before? I know he me. You have not heard the Holy Spirit say, I know he me. I've heard the Holy Spirit say, I'm very sorry for you. You see this thing? Your eye go clear. Don't worry. When you know that he is dynamic in nature, you will not restrict him to King James' version of English. He is not a poet. He is not Solomon. He talks to you in the language that you understand. If he's pigeon that will be familiar to you at that point, he will use pigeon for you. My husband has said he wanted beans for dinner. I passed the information to Jeff. I said, no problem, ma. We'll make the beans. Right there on my bed, the Holy Spirit said, you should... That beans, none of you will eat from me tonight. It didn't come as, that beans is not going to cook well. Thou shall stand up now, walk down to the kitchen, make your beans yourself. It came as, well, prepare for something else. Because you see that beans, you ain't going to eat it. And lo and behold, I came at night, opened the pot, and said, ah! Lord, you told me. He is interested in every detail in your life.